studying hard but still getting bad grades. This is a very tough situation, especially if you feel that you are doing everything in your power in order to succeed. You're doing all the right things, but it's just not working. It's not. So this email comes from a person whose name is AC, and the subject is studying hard but still bad grades. So I'm gonna read this email because this person is struggling. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. The subject is studying hard but still bad grades. The message is the following. Hello, math sorcerer. I hope you are doing well. It is as the title says, I have completed my first year as a physics student. Most of my courses revolve around math and science, of course. I study quite hard, I believe. I review the concepts I don't understand, read through the textbook, and I practically do all, if not most, of the practice questions in the textbook and whatever the professor provides, including practice test, past papers. Wow, sounds perfect. It's been like this my entire life, pretty much. They say math is all about practice, and I practice a lot. However, when it comes to the test, I absolutely flunk it. I can never get above a 75. I am not sure what happens to me, but I make silly errors or I just forget, have no clue how to solve the problem. But when I'm practicing alone, I understand the concepts and can solve the majority of the problems on my own. I am not sure what I am doing wrong exactly. That's why I can't seem to figure out a solution. In the past, I have done tutoring and such, but it wasn't very helpful. In my university, I went to office hours, but once again, not much help. I'm not sure if I'm just dumb, but I don't always understand the way the TA explains things. So I just learn it by myself using YouTube. It's really discouraging because I spent all this time and effort only to get bad average grades. So why even try? Nothing is going to change. Anyways, any advice like study methods, tips, books, or other online resources would be helpful. Thank you in advance. P.S. If you would like, you can post the answer to this on your YouTube channel. Just use AC as my name if you do use it. Yep, I used AC, so all right. Thank you, AC. So let me just start right away by addressing the fact here. You said something in your email which I feel needs to be addressed right away. You said, uh, here it is, right here. I am not sure if I'm just dumb, but I don't always understand the way the TA explains things. So you're not dumb. Uh, it's normal to not understand when someone explains something to you. Uh, I have gone to professor's office hours as an undergrad, as a grad student, and I've gotten explanations that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I, sometimes I would go and I would walk out even more confused. And sometimes I would just really, you know, ask them to explain it different ways and I would try. And sometimes they just, it just doesn't click sometimes, you know? Um, most of the time it did help, but so, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. So it sounds like you're doing everything right, right? You're going over all the practice tests, you're going to office hours, you're going to tutoring, you're reading the book, you're doing your homework, you're going over your reviews. One of the things I think that happens, because you know, I've had a lot of students, I, I taught for a lot of years, and I've seen students who are meticulous in their study habits. They go over all their notes, they do all the homework, they have this very organized notebook, they come to office hours, they go to tutoring. But when you're studying alone, okay, if you're by yourself in a room and you're studying and you're doing homework problems, you need to make sure, and maybe you're already doing this, but I want to emphasize it because this is the most important thing. You need to make sure if you want to succeed, if you want to guarantee success, pretty much guarantee it, that before you take your test, you can do every single homework problem Every single example from your notes, everything that could possibly be on the test, anything from the review, anything that is remotely a possibility for that exam, you want to make sure you can do it cold. I don't mean just sitting there with your notes and saying, oh, that makes sense. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Because when you're home, you have your notes, you need to make sure that you're doing it cold with no resources. You need to know those definitions and theorems you need to know them, right? You can't, you can't, if you feel at any point that you have to look at your notes or look somewhere else for help in order to solve a problem, you're not ready for the test, right? You're not, you're not. And 
you might say, okay, well, I'll just do that. The problem with this method is that, is that it is extremely difficult, okay? It is extremely difficult to get to the point where you can solve every single homework problem, everything from the review, everything from the notes, everything that's gone over in class, every possible question that could be on your test, you need to be able to solve it cold with no resources. And that takes an incredible amount of time, but you can get there. Not everyone does. Most people study really hard. They take the test, and if they study really, really hard, good chance, you know, they'll do okay. But in order to do really, really well, that's what I think you need to do. That's what I did. That's how I was able to get decent grades. And I, I didn't always get A's. Sometimes I got B's and I had one C plus, but it wasn't a math class. But that was my strategy. And again, the biggest downfall of the strategy is time, right? It takes a, a, a lot of time because a lot of times you have to finish the homework first, go through it with your resources, go over all your notes, go over the review. Then you got to go back after you're done with all of that and do it again, but you have to do it cold with no notes. That takes an incredible amount of time. And it also takes a lot of uh, forward thinking and planning because you actually want to finish your homework and finish everything several days before the exam. So you have a couple days to review everything and make sure that, that you can do everything you know, cold. And I, I think that's, that's the best strategy. I mean, you're studying some hard subjects here, my friend, AC. Uh, physics is no joke. There's, there's concepts you have to know. There's formulas. You have to know how to use the formulas. And so there's math. Um, so so it, is, it is very challenging. It is very challenging. And you've probably taken a lot of math as a physics student as well. So, yeah. So that's my advice. If anyone else has any advice for AC, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below. When you leave those comments, it really does help other people. Also, if you want to subscribe, you can if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Oh, and I do have courses. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, please get them from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Um, I lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So when you click my links through my website, you should get a good price. I've got courses on calculus, algebra, etc. So advanced calculus, abstract algebra, and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, mathsorcerer.com. And again, if you have any advice for AC, leave a comment. Key, key takeaway of this video, is that you know to do really well on a test, and in, 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 in any subject, right? You just have to be able to do the test questions, right? And that, that's what it comes down to, right? So the problem is, you don't know what those questions are, but if you do every possible question that could possibly be on that test, then you will be ready. But you have to be able to do it cold. And you might say that's unreasonable. It's an unreasonable expectation. It might be, but if you want to do amazing, if you want to get hundreds in hard classes, you have to take unreasonable actions. You have to do things that most people aren't gonna do. If you think about it, if you take a physics test, how many people get hundreds on that test, right? And what did it take to get that hundred? Good chance that person might have already studied physics, but every once in a while, you get someone who's new to physics or new to calculus, and they'll come in there and they'll rock it. And in order to do that, they have to take extraordinary measures and study for a ridiculous amount of time you know, in order to make sure that they can do all of those problems before the test. So yeah, do everything cold and you will be okay. Good luck and you're not dumb. Keep doing physics, keep doing mathematics.